Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We are doing a world map, urban only. It's mapped by our good pal Wolf Trekker. And it looks like we might be in Russia. It's a three minute time challenge just like every other day. And now, now comes the hard part. Finding out exactly where we are. Now this, this is what's interesting to me. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of your typical television, I guess. Like NBC in the United States has a logo that has like something kind of similar. It's thinking maybe Olympics. Um, and the fact that we're looking for mostly cities and towns and places like that. Um, makes me wonder if maybe we're over in that area. Again, don't speak Russian. Um, maybe this is location. We have the town over here, S-T-O-N. Um, kebabs. I don't fucking know. Uh, interesting. Now, I've never been good with Russia. Russia is just not my friend. Um, you guys have tried to help me out with that. And we just don't have enough practice, I think, is part of it. Um, the other billboard probably has something on it. It doesn't. Wow. Alright. Am I surprised? Not really. Kind of makes sense, I suppose. Um, doesn't feel like Moscow, so we're not going to guess Moscow doesn't feel like St. Petersburg. It looks like there's a river to our right, which is east. Damn, man. Let's return to start. See if we can't go the other way. Can we find something over here that really sells it to us? Maybe. But it looks like... Let's just go further into town. Fuck it. We got 45 seconds. Hopefully we're able to find something. Even if we just found a fucking flag. Um, but to start off, we do need to guess somewhere in Russia. I'm going with Verona's. Uh, even though we know it's C-T-O-N, but who knows where the fuck that is. We don't even know if we're in Russia. Very well could be Mongolia. However, I believe it is a little bit too green. <laughs> Russia makes kind of a lot of sense to me. Um, but we're not really finding anything besides the alphabet that's really selling it to us. So that's, that's very vague and unhelpful um kind of a shit location um but 650 665 miles away that's not terrible um so where is the CTON it's not even here we I know we went north so it would be over here somewhere uh and it's not even showing up we would have never been able to find it anyway uh, but still, that's probably one of our better Russian guesses. And that, that's really saying something. Um, I don't know. This feels like the United States. Actually, no, it doesn't. That's why it doesn't. Uh, but we are on the right-hand side of the road. So we're not in Japan. I think that leads us with Korea. But I'm not going to just say Korea at this point. Although, this does kind of feel a little bit like Seoul, maybe. Uh, yeah, here's the Seoul. So, Seoul, South Korea. And now becomes the hard part, because we don't really get to see too many street signs. Um, on this map, at least. We have to zoom in pretty far to be able to find anything. I'm guessing these are the roads, but... I don't even, I don't even know where, okay, so here's a road name, we look for the Malijero, um, but we have to be in real fucking close, so there's a good chance we're not going to be able to find the roads based on that, maybe we should start looking for a building that we might be able to piece together, um, we're looking north, there are still a lot of buildings, so we'll go to the uh, no, nah, I think we could probably stay down here. Uh, let's head a little bit south and see if we can find a river. 
if we can't find the river, then we know we're, we're south of the city. Because we're heading south. We should be able to find it south of us, you know? If there's nothing south of us. I fucking hate when they do these uphill things. If there's nothing south of us, then we've got to be south of the river. It makes sense to me. Um, and now it's a matter of being able to find it. Like this, this very well could be a park. Um, kind of hard to tell. If you didn't already know, we're in South Korea. There's the flag. So this is going to be a major road, I'm thinking. And here we go. Here's probably something we wanted. Uh, Ho Chin Park and Gondek Kong. Um, what's the park called? Buk? Buk Hansen? Um, and Ho Chang Wo. This, this is a park right here. We are heading towards Yongsan Stun and the Ho Chang Park. Fuck. You know how many parks there are here? It's gonna be and there you have to get in pretty close to see these as well. Um I think we're just in a good spot overall. The, and then here's Yongsan Gu, but we're looking for Yongsan ST. I don't even fucking know, man. Uh, I think we're around this area. We're out of time. South Korea is really hard, mainly because of how close you need to get to see the road numbers. Um, you literally, you have to get in fucking real close to even see road names. And then look how many things are fucking marked here. It's, it's really hard to, to ascertain the correct information. But we made four more points than the current leader. So that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Uh, we are on the right hand side of the road as you can tell with this car right over here um Ponos Grengor kind of I want to say Europe we do have mountains in the background it definitely doesn't seem English maybe Czech maybe Poland that's a national park um buildings are kind of in a a style that I don't typically associate with any language. We got what appears to be Russian influence. So maybe old school Russian. Which would make sense if you think about Czech. Um, being in, in Czechoslovakia, which doesn't actually exist anymore. It's now Czechia. I don't know. It feels like it might be like a resort. <laughs> nice. Giant lot for a gas station. Three places to put a flag. No flags being flown. Come on, really? Really? Anything on this truck? A dot com. A number of 382. Don't recognize that. Um, Coca-Cola. Nothing that's being shown. No flags being flown. Even if a flag was being flown, though, I don't know if I would immediately jump to that. Especially if it doesn't feel like it. Uh, the Terra River Express Rafting Center, uh, also a dot .com, and then the dot .com again, uh, but the 382 is what's, what's interesting to me. Uh, I do know we need to pick up a little bit more in country codes. Country codes could be a valuable thing. Ooh, fuck me. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck nothing there um that's probably this sign right here is probably our best friend um i don't know where to even consider one of these has got to be big um i said i wanted to check czechia it's over here well here's slovakia and czechia um maybe kind of makes sense for over in this area i think it does um, the language does look kind of similar. I know we're not by Prague. Let's just... I don't know. I don't... This is a tough one. Um, maybe you guys don't think that. But it's it's the feel of the area. The, the lack of any real clues. Um, ooh, dot M-E. Fuck. Where is M-E? Um... Well, we're out of time. Montenegro, there we go. 
which makes sense with the, the Russian influence. Um, I don't even, even if we had a little bit more time with the ME, I would have probably gone with Macedonia instead of Montenegro. Um, yeah, we're not doing too good. We're not doing too hot. But we're over 10,000 points. That makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, 509, this is set up like a United States or uh, potentially Canada number. Uh, Carhartt is huge in the United States. Definitely probably in the United States. Uh, the city, I want to see what it says on the bottom. Spokane. Walker Construction, a 509 area code. Don't recognize 509. Uh, US dot, so we definitely are in the United States. Now, now comes the hard part. Finding out where we actually are. Uh, we are by Main Street. That's what this. We're on Main Street. If we find a taxi, potentially. Um, firepower. Business safety. Usually, you would find a city on that. Um, but we're not finding anything. National Health Center, week of August. A lot of these signs tend to have, well, in my experience, uh, the city name on them somewhere, like up top. Not being able to find anything there, though. May stop while moving. Uh, city brokers, no. No, 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 no. All right. Spokane. So this is probably where we are. Um, Spokane, and I don't know where Spokane is. Sounds like it would be out west. Um, like over here somewhere. I don't know why. Fuck. Um, we're going to go quick. I don't know why I think we're out here. Sounds like you it's something you'd expect in the Dakotas or Minnesota or Wisconsin. Mostly Wisconsin. Um, can we find anything else that really helps us? Not really. Uh, we have 45 seconds left. I'm getting a little bit of blur here and there. Not my favorite thing. Um, we now know that we're in Spokane, which the signs make sense. Armored truck, not important. Uh, fuck, man. Fuck everything. There's the USA flag, if you didn't already know. Nothing. I don't... You. We have the city name. But if you don't know where where Spukani is, which I don't, um, you kind of get screwed. Fucking sucks. All right. Uh, I don't know. I guess we just leave it as is. I don't know where else we would move it to. And it ends up being fucking Washington State. All right. Yeah, I didn't know where Spukani was. Um. It sounds like a place you'd expect to find in the Midwest. That's just... I know it's probably a large city. Uh, especially when you can see it from all the way out here. But the last place I thought was Washington. I knew the name. I knew the name. I just... I wouldn't even... I would consider just these places. I wouldn't have even looked over here. So that's... That's me not knowing my own country. And then we got this. Uh, we're going over to the... Southeast Asia. Looks like we are on the right-hand side of the road. So that does help us. Um, do we find a flag? Because I want to say Thailand. I don't know why I want to say Thailand, but I do. Looks like we have a few dot-coms. Um, <laughs> it is in English as well. That doesn't always help us. I always get kind of freaked out when we see English. The eyebrow beauty. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I just need a flag. That would probably be the best thing we could find. Um, besides a website, which I don't think we will find. We do have a blue sign coming up. Hopefully we can read it. Uh, okay. We're going to have to get real close. And we're going to have to read it on the side. And we can't. Thanks, Google. You're a real pal. All right. Nothing over here. Interesting. 
I don't know. I figured we would have a better day. We're kind of having a shitty day. Maybe it's maybe it's the start of the week. Maybe it's because it's a Monday. Who knows why? Usually we kind of start off kind of rough, and then we get a little bit better as time goes on. Uh, here's the flag. That is not the flag of Thailand. That is the flag of Laos. Makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, we know a lot of the border of Thailand is covered, especially down here. Um, but I believe most of it is by the capital. We are in a city. Makes kind of sense. We would go with the capital itself. Now, now we have to find a sign. Um, and street signs have not been our friends today. Although they have been our friends in the past, so we do need to attempt to look for it. Hammer and sickle uh, just reinforces the idea that we're in a communist country. Can we now find a street sign, please? We're on one major long road. Probably 13. Um... I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't help that we we struggle to find street signs. Um, even when we know where to look for them, we struggle to find them. And then typically, when we do find them, we don't have enough time to even use that information to be able to find it. But we are in the city, and we are heading south. So I'm thinking we started like up here, and we're going down this way. So maybe a little bit further up. We're 10 seconds. We're not going to find anything any different. And it was in the, the correct city, but we were actually on this. I can't even tell you what its name is because it doesn't look like it has one. So we were on an unnamed road in the middle of the city. I mean, that, that definitely helped us out. The United States was all my fault. And then the uh, Montenegro one as well. Russia, that was the best Russia I guess we've ever had. Uh, you, guys, you guys fucking killed it. Let's check out the full results. It's coming in first place is Aphelion with almost a perfect score and screenshot the world really not too far behind. Uh, it looks like it was, I don't even know which one that you guys fucked up a little bit more on. The last one you were 1.8 kilometers, so you were around where I was and that could have, that could have been the difference. Actually, no, you guys were off by 34 points. So it was probably location one that really did it you in. Um, and then Ionica Messery also did not get the United States, um, which you guys can't see because bullshit. So it makes me feel a little bit better, even though I live here, I should have known where that was. Um, but at least I knew right away we were in the United States. The issue is I don't know every city. And I, I wouldn't expect anyone to know every city in the country. Um, you guys could be like, Matt, that was the third largest city in Washington State. And I still wouldn't know what the second was. You know, like, it's it's one of those things. I don't know too much about the West Coast. I know a lot about the East Coast. Uh, but overall, not too bad, not too bad. Now, I do hope you all enjoyed watching this episode of GeoGuessr. Just another heads up. We have a week from tomorrow until the Assassin's Creed DLC comes out. And then a week from today is my meeting at work where I discuss not wanting to work Saturdays like I've been doing. So hopefully we get back to our normal routine uh, in about a week. But until then, I do look forward to seeing you guys all soon. Have a good rest of your day. And bye-bye.